Everything's gone up in price. You know that. <laughs> Why? Dude, it's only 2019. Yeah, I don't know. Price? I don't know. So you want to sell me this one for 10 grand, right? <laughs> 10 grand down. <laughs> 10 grand down. <laughs> More gas. More gas. Welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt, and we're back at Extreme Mustangs for you guys that have been watching the channel for a while. And, you know, I think Scott has a problem because he has bought another supercharged car. Although this one doesn't have a cage for once, which I can't believe. Uh, this is a 93 GT convertible. And actually, no, it's not. Yeah, it's a GT. But uh, it's got a Celine body kit on it. I think it was originally a GT. It might have been an LX. Bear brakes. Anyway, today we're going to cover everything going on with this car and uh, give you guys a full tour on it. And this one is for sale too. So um, if you're interested, I'll put Scott's information below. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty sweet car. Are these 12 in the back? Yeah, I think there's 12 or 12 and a half in the back. Okay. Um, but that's the car, I mean, but that's part of the uh, bare brake kit. Okay. The, the rears are too? It's one kit or just the front? Yeah, um, that's bare in the back. Too. Okay. Yeah, that's a gigantic rotor, dude. <laughs> yeah, and in fact, you look at that's a two piece rotor. That's not a one piece. Oh, uh, okay. Piece I see it's slotted too. Oh, supercharged. Everything you get is supercharged, Scott. <laughs> you don't buy it unless it's supercharged, do you? Exactly. <laughs> or unless it has stupid little miles on it. Yeah. Uh, that's short east, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's got full Bassani exhaust on it. Yeah, dude, it sounds good. Does it? You want to crank it up yet, or you want to wait? All right. Can't, oh, it's got a, uh, what do you call it, light, light bar? bar? Light bar, yeah. Well, I had to pull that out, had to fix the back windows in it. Um, I got the switches on order because the, okay. uh, the switch panel was bad on it. Was it? So, so, so I'm fixing that. Celine seats, right? Everything's gone up in price, you know that. <laughs> Why? Dude, it's only 2019. Why yeah, I don't know. Price? I don't know. So you want to sell me this one for 10 grand, right? <laughs> 10 grand down. <laughs> 10 grand down. <laughs> That'll be man down. <laughs> you can't buy the build it for that. You know that. No, I know. I know. <laughs> What's People this one? Build them, they know how much it costs to build them. Yeah. People that have never built one, they can't fathom how much it costs to build yeah. them. And then they buy one that's done. And then I think that's the price all of them are supposed to yeah. be. <laughs> you know how it goes. Oh, well, I build them. That's how I know how it goes. <laughs> I know what it costs to build them. Well, I found out the hard way. <laughs> well, <laughs> only because the motor twice is why I say that. Right. That's all. Yeah, I, I hate these one piece headlights. I don't like them. They're <laughs> I don't think they're popular anymore. They work for a while. Everybody's going back to the try. What is it? Tri bar, not tri bar, but three piece. Original. Yeah, three piece. They look so much the better. Mm hmm. Scott, I think you got a problem, man. You buy too many Fox bodies. <laughs> well, 
Yeah. And Do you want to sell this one I'll as is? Complete. Yeah. But, okay. but I'm not giving it away. There's too much money in it. No. <laughs> but I'll sell it. 347. Vortex. How much? Do you know how much boost it's running? Um. I. Is this an S trim too? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Well, well, the belt was loose. Okay. And on six pounds, they said it made 560 to the ground on six pounds. And I've tightened the belt up since then. And the belt was really loose. Oh, okay. I'm surprised they didn't catch that. So. What's this guy here? Is that a cooler? Or, um. What is it? That's the overflow tank for the coolant. Oh, okay. That's yeah, pretty cool in there. Yeah. I like that. I even noticed that. It's a $2,000 radiator fan system. Yeah, electric fan. Okay. There's mu yeah, There's everything in this. <laughs> There's tons of stuff done to this. Dude, it's got Tony adjustable struts and shocks. Uh, this has H&R springs on it. So if you... So you know how low it'll set it. Yeah. Those are 18 by 10s on the back. That's a 285, 35, 18 on the back. 285, wow. Did I like these wheels, fenders? actually. Did you roll your fenders? No, I didn't. Did you roll your fenders? I know. When you had it apart. I know. It gives you more clearance. I'm going to have to probably go to a 17. You can go 18. You think so? A bit smaller tire. Okay. You can go 18. I wish they made the Cobra wheels, 93 Cobra wheels in 18s. Well, I heard Maker's Garage is doing it, but they're gonna charge like four grand for the wheel. <laughs> Celine. Yeah. The wheel oil openings are smaller in the front. Right. So you definitely have to go with like the eight or eight, eight or eight and a half inch wide wheel in the front. Cause you'll have a uh, clearance issues and stuff. And you have to run a small enough tire and be able to clear your, all your ground effect stuff and everything. And yeah. That's the only thing about the older car. Is it 91 they had the bigger in front? Yeah, yeah, because that's when they went to the Pony 5 Stars. Okay. They came factory with 16s on them. They're the same in the back. Okay. So, dude, you can run 18 in the back, 17 in front of them. Okay. I mean, that's... Okay. Yeah, that's clean. I got to beep everything you say out, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all right. No, it's fine. Oh, you're saying something about this uh, top, too, prevents rain from getting in? What is it something on the inside of the top? Oh, it's liner. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. They didn't come like that. You had to get this. No, no, no that's factory. 92, is it? 92, 93. Oh, really? Yep. And that's a cloth top on it, too. Mm-hmm. Could you get the cloth tops factory, too? No. No, okay. Not I didn't think so. Okay. See, that car has a cloth top. Yeah. Cloth top, cloth top, cloth. Yeah, yeah, they're expensive. They're need cheap. I, you know, I think a cloth top will cost you a good three grand to have cloth top put on and everything. Man, this car does have everything then. It, it's got a ton of money in it. The front brake kit's $3,500 for the front brake kit. I know. That's the other thing on my wheel. So, um, what kind of uh, brakes would I be able to clear with 17s in the front? Uh, the cover okay. brakes. With 13 inch? This stuff's like brand new on there. <clears throat> well, well, I need that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I could get the, would I get the five lug off of here too? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I really want to do that. I really want to get five lug. <clears throat> no, we can't use the, can't use the lowering stuff on this one. This is a 93. Well, this has coilovers on it. Oh, it has coilovers, okay. So you can't use the cast camera plates. Right. Every car I got here, Fairplate works for it, you know, because yeah. yeah, yeah, because everyone is 91 on up. Yeah. See, that's 91, that's 93, yeah. that's 93. Uh, you just have to break down and buy some cast fairplate. It's yeah. probably new. Maybe but, I'll buy that iBot Pro kit <clears throat> from this guy and then get yeah. some caster camera plates. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, dude, uh, well, I mean, the cast camera plates you'll see, and since everything else is kind of new in the car, mm -hmm. you just kind of like kind of put icing on the car. Yeah. You know, I'd actually like to see what it would look like with the four lug just lowered. Maybe we could do that first. Yeah. See what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, it'll change it a lot. Yeah. You know, that's lowered, this is lowered. Everything's lowered. You know? <laughs> Around here. <laughs> that's why he got the Celine interior, because he went with the Celine yeah. sound effects. Basically, he tried to make a Celine car, right? Right. Cobra R, yeah. Okay. 
seat smash the front and the back. Yeah. Well, that's nice. And this is 93, okay. It's not it's not a bad shit. I don't know what you got it for, but I'm sure you got a deal. <laughs> All the money that's in the car, if you had to build it, mm -hmm. I, I said it's easy, 60 grand plus in this car. Yeah. I, I could believe it. I could believe it. it. Yeah, I can. I forgot to ask you what transmission it has in it. It still has a T5 in it. Does it? Okay. Um, that's the one thing. That's the one need. down downgrade on it. Yeah. And the two, if someone wants to turn it up, they got to put a fuel system in. Okay. So you need. Is it stock system. fuel system still? Um, basically a stock fuel system with a uh, T-Rex inline pump. Okay. So so it's got two pumps. You know what I mean? But I mean. But it's pushing the limits of everything that's here, right. fuel system wise. Yeah. So if you put a fuel system in it, and you put a T56 Magnum in it, yeah. Then you put a bigger blower on it, seven eight hundred to the rear wheels. Mm. Yeah, but I like to take you for a ride. In it. Yeah, I like to go for a ride in it. Plus, they also did the wrinkle finish stock valve covers. That's a nice little touch. Yeah. Uh, I mean the wrinkle red, and it's got a built-in catch can so it doesn't spit oil out anywhere. Is it okay? See. See the lines right here? Uh huh. And the line right there goes to a catch can that's down here. Oh, okay. An LX or a GT? LX. It was an LX, okay. I thought maybe it was a GT. Well, if you see the moldies, the moldies are thinner. The GT's got a thicker mold. Okay. All the stuff I've had, I mean, that I've had to fix on it. Yeah. I'll kind of give you a rundown. I had to put plugs in it. The timing wasn't set right. I had to put a new water pump on it. I had to put a new alternator on it. I had to fix the um, fan. One of the fans wasn't working. Uh, I had to fix the windows in the back. I got a. Um, I had to buy new switches. Scott's still trying to get me supercharged. <laughs> You'll get one. You're probably right. On some car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe the new GT500. <laughs> All, right. All right, so we got a pan hard bar here. Anti roll bar, T Rex fuel pump, Bassani X pipe with high flow cats. Uh, is this stock? This is not the stock drive shaft, I wouldn't think. No. Limiter drive shaft. Now, what's this This piece here? Is that to keep the drive shaft from falling down, basically? Well, this is the suspension. Yeah. If you look up here, there's no upper control arms. Oh, okay. This takes the place of the upper control. Arm. Really? That's a torque arm bar. That's the torque arm bar. Okay. I heard all the third people say. I knew that this was a pan hard. That's this a torque a arm. arm bar. This is part of this kit. Okay. So it still comes with the pan hard bar, the torque arm bar. All right, guys. So I was wrong. I called that a uh, 93 GT, but it's actually LX because, as you know, you can't put these saline ground effects on a GT. So, anyways, pretty awesome car. We're gonna have more updates for you. Maybe next time I'll take a ride in it. Um, and again, Scott's working on putting it to stock. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Gearhead 704.